hey what's up everybody Abibi here in this video I'm going to make tutorial about how to modify this enemy this enemy character is chasing me directly after I start the game what I need to do is to add a condition to the enemy the condition should be uh, if I am close enough to the enemy to him he will start to chase me and if I'm far away if I run away and get far enough from him he should stop okay and I'm going to edit my script that I have made in my previous video this is the scene that I was working on I had this script enemy chasing player let me edit it and here I'm going to add a boolean variable bool is chasing and here I add this condition if if is chasing is true then we should move towards the player only if the condition is true by default I will set the condition to false is chasing false now if I go back to my main menu and start to game if I start the game the enemy is not chasing me the animation I will fix the animation the animation should be idle animation not running like this then if the enemy starts to chase after me he will play the what are we animation doing? for now let me just work on this script here I will add hmm, I will add another if statement here first of all I, I will create a variable flow distance the distance is factor 3 dot distance and it will it should measure the distance between himself the enemy transform dot position and the player player the transform the position player is this object came object to find player armature and here I will add an if statement if the distance is less then 10 then the variable is chasing should be true
I don't know what is the value of the distance. Let me make it public. This number should be public. Mean distance. This mean distance variable should be public float. Mean so later we can modify the value on the Unity editor. Let's see five. Okay, I will run the game again. Okay, he is not chasing after me because the distance between him and me is more than five. If I uh, increase this number to seven, seven, you see. No. Yeah, let me just walk closer. Oh, now he is coming after me. Okay, that is how to <coughs> make an if statement the conditional if statement to to give the enemy a sensor if we are not close enough to him he shouldn't start to chase after us and if we are close enough he will start to chase us but I'm thinking uh, what if I'm far enough from him? He should stop. So I will add another condition. This one is for starting the enemy to run after us, to what us. And after this if statement, I will add another if statement. If this stands more than max this stands then is chasing should be false I will add max distance here max distance let's say 10 okay, let me test it again Forget the animation. Yeah, I will, I will fix the animation in no time. And let me get closer again to check. Okay, he starts following me again. And if I'm far away, far enough from him, he will stop. Now for the animation to control <coughs> to control the animation I will uh, I need to access the animation controller of that character that object here I have this character root object Let me add the public game object variable first. Public game object uh, animated character and animated character. Here I will add. Animator Animator 
back to Unity, I'm going to edit my animation controller to add another state to the animation controller. Right now, by default, the character is always running. I'm going to add another empty state. I call it idle. And I will choose the idle animation. Let's see this one. And this arrow should be here. one should be either let me replace it this one should be idle this one should be running running and this will be idle and idle from idle I make transition to running test first let me test it first I don't know I need to open the main menu scene main menu main menu let me start the game to see if the idle animation is being played correctly Okay, it is idle animation. Let me go far away from him. Okay, by default, this enemy character is playing idle animation, and here I will call a function from the animator when the enemy is starting to chase us he, the animator should play uh, animator that set pool what was the name is chasing we set it to true Here we set it to false. Okay, let's go back to our Unity. Lena. Here, 
this animated character should be this character root okay let me go back to main menu play now let me get closer to him I don't know what is the problem his feet is going under the ground I don't know maybe because the animation clip is from different object from a different Mixamo character that I have imported from my another project it became like this but whatever that let me close ah, the running animation is not being played it's chasing through it's chasing it's chasing that set cool maybe I should uncheck this exit time oh yeah I need to uncheck the exit time let me get let me run away from him Okay, I need to fix it. I need to fix the animation controller. This one should. Uh, I need another transition from running to idle and uncheck the exit time and add a list. This chasing here. Fox. Okay, let me go back and play it. Play now. Okay, it starts to run, and if we are far away, now he is in idle state. Let's get closer. Yes, that's all, guys, for this video. Thank you for watching. And I hope you like it. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye.